when the Honda Wriggleline first appeared in 2005, we threw it into a comparison test against the midsize pickups of the day, and the Wriggleline came out on top. In that test, though, we equivocated on the question of whether the Wriggleline, with its unibody construction and transverse powertrain layout, was a real truck or a car masquerading as truck. We called it a new type of utility vehicle. Now there's a new Wriggleline, and Honda is sticking with its unconventional layout, although it did work around the edges to make the Wriggleline fit better into the pickup landscape. Hardcore truck guys may still question its bona fides, but the Wriggleline once again looks impressive next to its peers. Split Profile Whereas the previous Wriggleline telegraphed its unibody construction with wide C pillars that sloped down to the high sided cargo bed, the new version cuts a more traditional profile. The narrower C pillars are nearly vertical, and there's a seam between the cab and the bed, mimicking body on frame pickups. But the Wriggleline is not a body on frame pickup, it once again uses a unibody architecture, shared with the Pilot SUV and the next generation Odyssey minivan. And as much as the back half of the Wriggleline now looks just like a standard pickup, the smoothly rounded front half is more or less lifted straight from the Pilot. One quick six. The Wriggleline also comes with only one engine, a 3.5 liter V6 paired to a six speed automatic, the Pilot's nine speed gearbox is not available here. But we might argue that it doesn't need another one. Honda's V6 makes 280 horsepower versus 250 previously, and 262 pounds to foot of torque, up from 247. Those 280 horses put it mid-pack in this group, with the GM twins on the high side, at 305 with their V6, and the Frontier on the low end, at 261, Honda's peak torque is the lowest, but not by much, trailing the Toyota and GM V6s by less than 10 pounds to foot, the Nissan by 19. Stigma? What stigma? Seeking to avoid the stigma of front-wheel drive, the previous Wriggleline came standard with four-wheel drive. With the new version, Honda has had a change of heart. Noting the popularity of competitors' two-wheel drive pickups, particularly in California, the single biggest market for the trucks, Honda decided to risk the shame of the FWD label and is offering two-wheel drive this time around. The benefits are a lower price. $1,800 less than the AWD versions, and slightly better fuel economy. Honda still offers four-wheel drive on any trim level, and it's standard on the top-spec black edition, like our test truck, and the penultimate RTLE.